Is there a more tragic backstory than the samurai guy in all of anime? Probably. Probably a lot. But in, in the recent times like, of tragic stories like that, it was more disturbing. It was definitely tragic, but it was so disturbing to know that like he's basically, you know, the byproduct of the mom getting graped. And then like the dad, of course he's going to be mad. I don't completely blame him for acting like that. I can definitely understand where he's coming from. But the most tragic part could be if the son was actually still the dad, you know? Like, it still could have been the dad and there's no DNA testing to kind of prove otherwise. But the samurai kid just gets shunned, exiled, gets sold into slavery, has to fight like a gladiator. And this should be like all the backstory that makes up like a villain's origin story. If I was him, for sure I'd be so mad at the world, I would be doing the most despicable things to show the world the pain that I felt. But he's kind of different. He's relatively chill, maybe a bit naive, but he's kind in heart. And now we're fighting with him. I don't know exactly how we're going to beat him, considering like this is a full on melee fight against a frontliner and we're a talker. But maybe there's going to be some ingenuity using the tools and strategies to succeed. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> yep, I know. Why? Because this is a recap scene. The most classic thing to do to pad time in anime is to have like the hype, you know, cliffhanger moments be replayed like one for one and then play the opening and then to show the actual cliffhanger after the opening is over. But hey, we're still going. The fact that he kept, he could keep up is actually pretty amazing. That's actually quite, so what does that mean? It means, of course, that Noel is very strong, but considering that he's a talker and like this is the best that he's ever faced, I don't think he's really faced much strong opponents, right? Because bro is a talker. But he's kind. He can't. Too kind. Oh. He's gripping the sword? This is like their most aggressive health ever. Th 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 thank you, thank you? I, I don't know. That's gonna be a great lesson for him to learn. He's most likely talking about his backstory and how maybe grandfather also died and stuff like that, right? But probably a lesson that this dude needs to learn right now, the samurai guy. So you can learn a lesson. Oh, hey. <laughs> Big Sis is here with the sus ass fucking hit your life, but hey, Big Sis is here. This will be a fun fight. Frontliner versus Thief Rogue? Frontliner should still kind of win. Oh, he. Contacted her before. Link OP. Oh, that's kind of cringe, bro. You don't want to cut a woman down? Looking like my man is looking down on women. Mm -hmm. This is the most rude thing you can do. You're going to go easy on a girl because she's a girl? What does that say about you? you don't, you're not showing her respect. If you truly respected a girl, equal rights means equal left. Cut her down. Yeah? <laughs> right, right, right. Dude, this shit reminds me of, you know, time alter. Double Axel. Oh, dude, phase zero. His attacks are so weird and unique. What the fuck? What is this? This is like a domain common serene. So if he activates this and you're in this domain, he can just block and counter everything. Like this is the zone. Okay. Oh, 
マステは実はことも理解したやはり俺の考えは迷わない嘆かない俺の行くべき道は一つだクラッシャー最強となるだから確実に殺すなななな Don't kill him just yet ならばいやいいっせん Okay Now he's gonna actually hit a woman What? Okay I think this is a good way to de escalate the situation before both die. So that we can get him later. So we can have both Arma and this guy. Alright, I really want to see the 1v1 though. Fuck you. What's the message? Yep, that's ahead in the box. Thank you, I guess. I think that this guy, though, right? Uh, Gambino is like men. I think these dudes are rational and could definitely help us out, maybe. What? What's the message? Fuck you. Gambino family is always Oh. Oh, we taunting him. I love how he got in character for that. He 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 actually got in character to sound just like Noel there, even the facial exaggerations. Mayor Mint's dead. ガラスで。やつを探して奴だけにするぞ。オッケーなことを言ってくれたもんだな。すみませんでした。つい。逃げる。あの人は良い主人じゃなかったけど。スタコンセントラム。ナイスマイン。オネルマイン。ストレンは
<laughs> Meaning, new guy showing up. Bro carried by bodyguards. Bro is Jack Doherty. Who is this dude? One, two, three, four. Okay, he's got an eight pack. I thought he had a ten pack for a second. He's got shark teeth. Is this the barkeeper? Dude, everyone's ready to pull up. Bald. Let's go, Seekers. Bad plan. Nope. We could. Papa Luciano. I love how they say Papa instead of Don. Yeah. Because Luciano is just kind of letting this shit pass by. Gambino is fucking up, but like, it's not too bad yet. If he kept crashing out, Papa Luciano has to step in and correct Gambino. But Gambino doesn't even realize the situation he's in. Oh, he's sweating. And Luciano, have we met him? He's not the guy we saw before with Dio's voice actor, right? Have we ever met this Luciano guy? He's just getting really glazed right now. Like, he must be the real deal. No, 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 no. <laughs> Any reasonable person would have just shut up and just let, you know, Gambino just walk out. But he's like, nope. Nope. <laughs> You're gonna crash out here right now. You're gonna take my bait. Oh, we still talking. <laughs> True. Ooh. You get worked up, the blood, the poison is gonna spread. Oh, it's just like someone so arrogant and a douchebag just showing out on a table and showing disrespect like that. I don't think it's that crazy of a guess, but you still did it. Bro just took her snake. Yo, where's the antidote at? What if he just lied there? Wait, like, 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 what if that was just a lie too? Think about that. Like, <laughs> it actually wasn't poison, and that bro shitting his pants, and we're just like gaslighting him. The seekers do. I have so much respect for them. They stood up for us. Oh, it was Cap. It was Cap! I'm on fire. I'm on fuck. I'm locked in today. Yeah! Back to back, baby! The two time! They call me Kaka for a reason! Oh, we're not leaving. We're not leaving. I feel like we shouldn't fuck with him. No. Let's just take the money and stay. And plan the downfall of the Gambinos. <laughs> wait, wait, you gonna really believe us? After all those lies? Yo, Shark Tooth guy, thank you for helping us out. Take one step out of a try and then go back. Because he said just leave. So, okay, I left. But you didn't tell me anything about not returning. <laughs> All part of the plan. One week we're gonna wait. Okay. Bye bye.
What's he gonna be investigating? Yeah, that sounds scary. Until you realize that, like, he's basically, like, the amount of, like, androgynous femboy memes that's been made of him. And when you say swallow like that with your tongue out, <laughs> you'll definitely be swallowing something. That's... What? I thought the rest of the episode's gonna be the one week. Like, wow, okay, we off screen the one week. I'm I'm all down. Let's go, pacing. <laughs> Even his laugh sucks. It's like 2v10. Bro's talking big. What happened in the week? The week prep. He must have gone around and figured out a way to reason the rest of them to like ditch Gambino because he's fucking up too much. Maybe something to do with Papa Luciano and now... It's a perfect opportunity to get rid of him. It's like a beautiful incentive where they know the mad dog is fuck. It's a liability. The Gambino reputation is going down. So let's get rid of him right now together. Is that what happened in one week? What happened in the week? The revolt. The coup. Oh, they had to kill a kid. Is it the family? Like, 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 like the girl that back home. Because the dad showed up and lied and shit. It's the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the girl. And, and, and the thing, that's what we made. That was a spinning thing. That was a spinning thing. Oh. Oh, oh, yo, they killed her! Revolt. Oh. Yeah, that's the shit we made together. Yeah, for a, a bit. <laughs> you didn't tell me I couldn't return. I'm here to offer you a solution. Mm -hmm. Albert's Wait, the Gambino fraud? Fraudulent inheritance. He was not the actual Gambino blood. Which is kind of like... Similar to our schizo theory that the samurai guy, you never know if he truly was, you know, had the, you know, the bandits, you know, DNA or if it was actually the dad's, but another example of ambiguous son. Damn. Doesn't this make it seem like the Mafia boss, the old Gambino head, the Mafia guy, is a better dad, a more righteous dad, than the Samurai guy's dad? Because think about it. Similar situation with the bastard son on the line, yet he took him in, knowing that it was a lie. You know, he, 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 he knew and he was like, okay, I'll still do it. <laughs> The music cut out. Like, as if he was expecting something so important. No, okay, cool, bro. Next. Oh, the music's back. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. The fraudulent son poisoned the previous Gambino head. Okay. A lot of good reasons to betray him. Boom. You are not the son. Here we go. Such a terrible liar. 
証拠がある先代の墓を暴いて調査でもしたって先代を見とった医者が全部吐いてくれた We had the doctor? We had the autopsy report ready <笑>酒場での一幕は失策だった取り乱すとはな、うん、身に覚えがあると白状し The overreaction to the poison kind of like proves his own guilt because he tried to poison, he did poison someone before. I don't know if the logic there makes sense, but I'm following. Big news, big news. We used it in our gambling couple. Contest time. Uno reverse card. That's exactly what Albert said before. That was his own lines. Yeah, bro, fraud. No charisma, no bronze, no brain, no nothing. God, he's nothing by himself, huh? Fight Noel and win. 1v1 right now with Noel. 1v1! He can't fight for shit, though! And that's the thing, especially coming right off of Arifureta, where the Emperor, the antagonist, the Emperor was not a fraud. He's actually so strong, he got into that position because might makes right there. This dude is nothing! He's a fraudulent Nepo kid, carried by bodyguards, he can't fight for shit. <laughs> Prove to me. Ah, come on. Hey, he's back. These dudes again have the most, like, the craziest design. The garter belt, the stockings. <laughs> They're so fucking big as bow. Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. You identify as she, her. Okay, Miss Pinocchio, go ahead. But the first part is when you make Pinocchio mad, he starts to like sound less and less like Roswell. And more and more, like, I don't know, like, he gets so aggressive. The voice acting is hilarious when he like, gets angry. Okay, Nechan. Let's go. Trial by combat, baby. And that's today's episode. Post credit scene, there is nothing. Man, today's episode was hype. We immediately find off, you know, where we left off with the cliffhanger, and Noel was hype. Noel really just like the fact that he could last this long as a talker, the weakest class in frontal fighting, is crazy. But he also called Arma cleverly and bought time even gave him like a nice speech to like uh you know get his shit together to like fight for yourself which was really nice arma was cool the fight scenes against mr samurai guy who knows how long they could uh, who would have won but arma's power is so cool and she's in the mountains you know training and she's come back for a week now the gambino family looking like there is a fraud among us the Albert Gambino guy poisoned Papa, but he's not even the righteous son. And the parallels between Albert Gambino's backstory and the Samurai's backstories, both fathers dealing with a potential bastard son, the Mafia boss, I would have loved to meet him. He sounds like such a good person if we're just talking about, you know, embracing the child, even knowing that it's not yours, but due to respect of his lover, but the father of the Samurai guy can't say the same. And we cleverly just like trapped him in this place where it's a trial by combat, right? You can choose your fighter and we're going to choose our fighter and we'll probably have the 1v1 showdown, right? We'll see exactly how it ended between Arma and the samurai guy. And Finocchio, it's Finocchio and Nei-chan, all right? You want to identify as girl? I don't give a fuck what you call yourself. I just want some good voice acting. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.